All right, well, thank you guys for coming today. Is the TIAC rolling? <laughs> Roll the TIAC in there. <clears throat> Gotta get that four track out. Bass has always been important to Spectrosonics. In fact, our first product uh, 15 years ago was Bass Legends, featuring Marcus Miller, Abe Laboreal, and John Patitucci. And in 2002, we introduced Trilogy, which was the world's first uh, virtual instrument dedicated to acoustic, electric, and synth bass. And now we are excited to be releasing Trillion, which is the successor to Trilogy, and it's amazing. It's based on the same advanced technology uh, of Omnisphere. So it's using STEAM technology. And you can even think of it as the Omnisphere of bass. So it's really, really cool. It is huge, 10 times the size of Trilogy. The core library is 34 gigabytes. It's a big bass. And the, the library is uh, focused, uh, very much focused on newly developed sounds, uh, just like with Omnisphere. You know, the real focus is on all the new sounds we've created. And it also includes enhanced remastered versions of the Trilogy Core Library and Bass Legends. So we went back to the old masters of Bass Legends. And so basically what you're getting is the entire history of bass, past, present, and future, all in one very cool instrument. You got a wide variety of bass types in one product. You got four string, five string, six string, and eight string basses. Uh, you've got all the popular uh, playing techniques like fingered, picked, slapped, muted, and uh, fretless basses, tapped basses, all in one product. So it's really, really versatile. That's the bottom line is that you can do so many different styles of music with this and it'll work with just about any kind of genre. So let's get into uh, the interface. Uh, as some of you know, our uh, mantra is powerfully simple for our design of our interfaces. And that's really important to us because the idea is that it's a very powerful concept when you can start simple and then you go deeper as, as you need. We've actually taken this concept further in Trillion. And um, so let me show you what we've done. The new main page is called the Custom Controls page. So we have a lot of parameters in, in Steam, as you probably know. Very, very powerful, thousands and thousands of parameters. But not every parameter is useful for every kind of sound, right? So certain parameters are really useful for some sounds, other parameters for other kinds of sounds. So this way, each patch presents only the most useful controls for that sound. And that's a powerful idea, because it lets you get right to music making without sacrificing uh, tweakability and customization. We'll start with uh, the new acoustic bass, and I'm gonna demo this a lot uh, more. You can see that we've got. And we've got the, uh, we've got the microphone and the pickup. So I can have the mic signal, and then we'll bring in the pickup signal by itself, and then we'll bring, bring up the mic a little more, so you can, uh, you have all of the most useful controls for uh, that sound, like you've got the release noises here, I have a legato function, I have velocity, you can turn on uh, compression. We've got a, a, a cool humanized feature. When we played this for the few people at first, they were, we spent so much time on the tuning, they felt like it wasn't realistic enough. Because it's so perfect, right? So what we did is we included a humanized uh, knob here. So we can, you know, throw it out a little bit or a lot. <laughs> <you know? laughs> so. Okay, so, so anyway, so that's really useful. You have those kind of controls on there. And we've got the, uh, the custom controls. You guys are easily amused, I must say. Um, uh, the custom controls are at the bottom are assigned to uh, an equalizer. And uh, so this equalizer is particularly useful for acoustic bass. 
and I've got all the kind of controls that would be useful to have. And I'll turn it on. And, and let's kind of crank up the high end a little bit and the mids. So all of those controls are, are you know, particularly appropriate for acoustic bass. Now, let's totally shift gears here and take a look at a synth bass. On this particular sound, we've got a completely different set of controls. See those controls that I had? control does something useful. Every patch basically has its own interface. So all of these things are in the same steam engine, but we're bringing out, hey, this control is really useful. This control is really useful. Here's another example. Here's a different layout. I'll just switch sort of between these three. And you can see the layout's changing. So on this one, this is a uh, Chapman stick uh, lead kind of sound. <laughs> So I've got all my uh, echo controls down here, so I can... Obviously, it's a very versatile instrument. All that's coming out of the same instrument, and it, you're probably getting the idea already. It's a little more than bass. <laughs> so uh, pretty powerful stuff. We took a bass sound, turned it into a cool lead sound. Okay, so let's go to uh, one more example. And you can see the controls changed again. And this sound is uh, one of the new hardcore uh, rock basses. And uh, it's really cool. The strings are just rattling like crazy. It's like just really, there's nothing polite about it. <laughs> so I've got all the controls here that are useful for this bass. So I've got, uh, let's say I want to add, uh, we've got this button here called Fury. And I've got my uh, amp and DI controls here. Let's try uh, adding a little wah. Or I can have just the amp signal. So it's a really powerful idea to be able to have just this, the uh, controls that are useful for that particular sound. And the controls always do something useful. All those controls are automatable and MIDI learnable. And you can create, here's a really cool thing, you can create your own controls and assign them to any parameter too. So it's not just what we've set up, but you can set up your own custom controls too. <laughs> 